Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. As you've seen in the thumbnail, we got our big old 13 inch rotors in this week. So we're gonna get these Cobras installed on the Red Demon. Now I'm only gonna do the driver's side. I'm not gonna waste you guys time by sitting here watching me do both sides. But I do want you to keep in mind that you do have to have that adapter in order to adapt the hydraulic hose to the hard line on the Fox body. I bought my adapter and the plug that goes in a proportion valve in a kit. Now, if you go back and check out some of my videos, you'll see the part numbers on that kit and the various parts that we're gonna be using tonight. Now, we have new hydraulic hoses, the copper washers for the hydraulic hoses. We also have the pins, the Eclipse, and the washers in order to make the caliper to the caliper bracket. And we also have our, of course, our 13 inch rotors. So we're gonna get these installed. This is the passenger side. I got to get it cleaned up before I put it on. Now I've already done, put the driver's side on and got a lug nut holding it in place. So we're gonna get started by putting these Cobra calipers on the Red Demon. All right, let's get started on getting these calipers installed. First thing we wanna do is go ahead and get our caliper bracket installed on the car. And like I said before, I got all the tools laid out so I don't waste too much of you guys' time by sitting here watching me do this. So we're gonna try to make this as quick as possible. Now I do hope that these videos have been helping some of you guys. If they have, you know, drop me a comment down below. Let me know how your build's going. Cause I hope that what I'm doing is actually helping you guys save some money on your bill. And that's the whole purpose of making these videos on this budget bill. Cause I'm not only trying to help myself save some money, but I'm also trying to help you guys save a little bit of money as well on your bill. Now, like I said, we're not gonna do the passenger side tonight. I'll do that off camera. This is gonna be the same one side as it is the other. And as you can see, we got a bracket on. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna grab our cover caliper and slide it right down. And we're gonna lock the top in. And then we're gonna drop the bottom down and see if we can't get our pin to line up. So we can get our pin locked in place. You gotta keep in mind, these are new pads in this kit. So everything's tight. We're gonna get it tapped in there. There we go. Got our pin in. We'll grab our washer and our E-clip. Slide a washer right over the end. And we'll take our E-clip. and snap it in place and there we go it's that simple that's a good thing about these cobras they're pretty simple to install I'll let you guys take a look at it looks pretty good so what we're going to do now is grab our hydraulic hose now i am reusing my banjo bolt all i did was wire brushed it clean it up Blow it out and make sure it didn't have no trash in it. So we're gonna reuse that. Now, of course, you wanna take and put you a copper washer on the bottom side and also on your banjo bolt. So we're gonna take and slide our banjo bolt through there. And as you can see, we got our copper washers sandwiching that hydraulic hose. Now we got to just Screw it in. And then we'll get her tightened down. All right, now we got our hydraulic line made it up to our caliper. So now what we wanna do is take and slide it up into the bracket right here. Now we're going to reuse the 
spot spot a clip that holds it in place. There she goes, snap right in. Now we're gonna do is just take and made our hard line up to it. Grab our line wrench and go ahead and cinch it down. And there we go. Now we got our hydraulic line made it up and they're on the car. So that was pretty easy. I'll go back over everything, make sure I got everything tight. But as you can see, we got our cover calipers on, we got our rotors, and we got the hydraulic line bolted up to the hard line. All that's put together. Now I want to take you guys over to the other side and show you the adapter I was talking about at the beginning of the video that you had to have. That is the adapter when you have to run the hard line to the hydraulic line. Like I said, I got that in a kit. Just go back and check out my videos and you'll see the part numbers on those. That's all I got for you tonight. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Show your boys some love. Give me a thumbs up and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. It's hot. I'm tired. I'm ready to go in. I'll see you guys in the next video.